My name is Rayanne Salter with Finding My Books. In this video, I'm going to talk about a new feature in QuickBooks Desktop that many of my clients have been asking for. It's called Vendor Bill Pay powered by Melio. Vendor Bill Pay gives businesses the flexibility to pay their vendor bills online directly from QuickBooks Desktop Pro Plus, Premier Plus, and all editions of Enterprise 2022. This new feature allows users to schedule vendor payments using their debit card, credit card, or EFT from their bank, sending the payment to their vendors. Users can choose whether their vendor will receive the payment as a deposit into their bank account or send a check. It's similar to paying from your online banking account, but paying it from QuickBooks saves you the time of double entry. This is another example how Intuit QuickBooks keeps automating your software toward a more seamless process. Let's get started to demonstrate how bill pay works. Keep in mind you must be logged in as the company administrator and sign up with an Intuit account. In our first example, we will enter a bill and pay through our checking account. Select Enter Bills from either your home page or from vendors at the top of the toolbar. Enter the new bill. Bill Pay is a business to business payment solution. Therefore, you can't process payments to non business individuals or payments made for personal reasons. But if your vendor is a registered sole proprietor, we'll be able to facilitate payment to that individual. Once you've entered your bill, click Save. Then select the option Schedule Online Payment to proceed. If you are paying your first bill, there are a few things you need to do for setup. Click Continue to Start. Select the method that you'd like to use. The bank account and debit cards are free to use while the bill pay service charges 2.9% per credit card transaction. I will take you through how to connect with your bank account. You can connect instantly to schedule transfers immediately or verify with deposits option. If you choose that option, you'll receive two micro deposits, less than $1 amounts, from Melio in one to two business days. Once you receive those two amounts from your bank account, you can verify your bank account within your bill pay settings. Here's how. Go to Settings and search for the bank account you'd like to verify. Select the Verify Account link. Then enter the two deposit amounts you receive. I will choose to connect instantly. A pop up shows Melio uses Plaid to link your bank. Click Continue. Choose your bank. If you don't see your bank listed, exit out of the screen and click Connect Account Manually. Enter your routing number and account number of your checking account to register. Save and continue. In one to two days, you will verify two small bank deposits. If your bank is listed, enter your online login credentials, answer any security questions, then you will need to verify your identity. Once you verify your identity with a code, you will choose which account, if there are more than one, to link to. I also had to enter my routing number and checking account number to confirm the account. Once that is completed, you will get a success message that your account has been successfully linked to Melio. For future transactions, your selection will be kept so that you don't need to enter your details again. Choose how your vendor would like to receive the payment. 
If you choose bank transfer, it takes three business days for your standard delivery, four business days for payments over 100000 You would enter your vendor's routing number and account number to process the bill payment. Then click to save bank details. If you choose standard paper check delivery, it will take typically five to seven business days via USPS. If you choose to use your debit card or credit card to ACH, it takes one full business day. There is also an option for fast check. With that, it will take three business days sent by FedEx and that is charged at a flat $20 fee. You can provide the name to be written on the check and the address. Bill pay service will deliver the check on your behalf. For future transactions, your selection for the vendor's receiving method will be kept so that you don't need to enter any of the information again. Next, we'll want to select a schedule date. You can select today's date, as long as it's before 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time, or a date in the future. The payment will be deducted from your account on the day that you choose. Review the payment, review all the payment details, make sure to schedule the payment. Your bill will be automatically marked as paid for the future date. In our second example, we will go to pay bills and pay by credit or debit card. Select pay bills from either your home page or from vendors at the top of the toolbar. Select a bill or bills that you'd like to pay. From the methods dropdown, select schedule online payment. Then select pay selected bills. I'm going to select credit card for payment. Enter your credit card number, valid through date, and CVV number. The same information is entered if you choose to pay by debit card. Click Save My Card and continue once completed with your entry. Add any cardholder details. Click Complete and Save. Next, link activity to matching credit card account in QuickBooks. If there is no matching account, then allow QuickBooks to create one. Choose Link My Card. Choose Continue. Choose whether to send the payment as a bank transfer to your vendor's account or choose whether to send a paper check. If you'd like your vendor to choose their own preferred method, you can select Ask a Vendor for Payment Details. If you select this option, we'll send an email to your vendor with a secure link through which they can choose their preferred payment method and enter the ACH or paper check information themselves. Once your vendor has entered the information, you'll be notified via email. If you choose to use your debit card or credit card to ACH, it takes one full business day. If you choose standard paper check delivery, it typically takes five to seven business days via USPS. For future transactions, your selection for the vendor's receiving method will be kept so that you don't need to enter again. For a bank transfer, you need to enter the vendor's routing number and vendor's account number, and then confirm the vendor's account number, then save bank details. To send a check, enter the name to show on the check, click Continue then the address of the vendor to mail the check to. Submit once information is complete. 
select a schedule date. You can select today's date if it's before 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or a date in the future. The payment will be deducted from your account on the day that you choose. Review all the payment details and then finally make sure to schedule the payment. Your bill will automatically be marked as paid for the future date. You will receive an email notification when your payment is scheduled and when it begins processing. Your vendor will receive a notification when the payment is out for delivery. The email address used is the same that you would have used to create your Intuit account. You can also view payment details from within QuickBooks. Here's how. On the bill that you paid, select the option to view online payment. You can select to view, edit, or cancel your payment. You may edit or cancel your payment anytime before the payment begins processing on the selected schedule date. Once the payment has begun processing, you'll no longer be able to edit or cancel the payment in bill pay. If you need to view or edit your vendor's delivery information, you're able to within bill pay. You would select Settings located on the page header, select Vendors, and scroll through the list to locate the correct vendor. Select the vendor, then select Delivery Methods, Select the More Options menu to edit the delivery method you want. Select Edit, then input the new delivery information if necessary. When you're done, select Save. For any bill payment sent out by paper check, you can view the check number by doing the following. You would select the View Online Payment button within the bill payment in QuickBooks Desktop to load the payment details. Scroll down to the Vendor Receive section and you'll see the check number listed. Keep in mind that the check number is only generated once the check has been printed and sent out from Melio's bank. Another thing to keep in mind that bill pay doesn't have the option for partial payment but you can create separate bills of lesser amounts or edit the total bill amount and select Save and Schedule Payment. Intuit's development team is currently working on the partial payment option and they plan to implement it later this year. Another thing to keep in mind that Bill Pay does not have a bulk payment option meaning it is not yet possible to combine multiple bills into one payment. But you can schedule your payments in batches. This allows you to schedule multiple payments at once instead of one at a time. To do this, you go to the Pay Bills in QuickBooks Desktop, select the bills you'd like to pay, then select Schedule Online Payment. When ready, select the Pay Selected Bills button, you can schedule up to 20 bills at once using batch payments. Currently, bill pay can only facilitate domestic ACH and paper check payments within the United States. Intuit's development team is currently working on international payments and they hope to implement it later this year. The bill pay service doesn't carry any extra subscription fees it is included as a free online offering with your current QuickBooks desktop product. As you've heard me mention before, Melio processes the payments made through Bill Pay on QuickBooks behalf. There are two steps in the payment process. First, Melio collects the funds from your bank account or card. Then, Melio's bank sends the payment amount out to your vendor for delivery. For payments sent by paper check, Melio's bank prints and sends the check out in the mail. If you need help, 
You can contact support and reach out to Intuit Bill Pay, powered by Melio, at support at qbdtusers.melio.com. You can also send them a chat message. Within Bill Pay, you click select Need Help. Located on the page header, then select send us a message in the chat dialog that opens. The average response time shows in the chat window. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and click on the bell to be notified when I make another video. Thank you everybody.